Hey everybody, this is Grace, and I had mentioned that I want to talk about ableism and the way people treat people who have, as I like to call it, just differences. They're different than most people. Let's put it that way. Some say disabilities, challenges, and so on. Um, they don't um, necessarily has to be that, though. Anyway, I've taken a bunch of notes, so I should make about five videos at least. Anyway, um... First, I want to talk about when a person does have these kinds of differences. Um, not this is not one size fits all. Not everybody does it. Um, it's just the people who do. Some of them, some people would say it's narcissistic abuse. It could just be abuse all around. But in this one, I want to talk about what doesn't work for all people. Okay, people. It doesn't. Um, generally work for people with differences and uh, but it's not a one-size-fits-all like I said and such as um, I'm one of, I'm a person with differences okay so um, like clothing for example start off with an easier one clothing for me doesn't work like other people and the, the bad thing is you know we know what works for other people you know the majority let's call it that uh, we know what works for them and we know how they like to size things that to work, you know, for the most, for the majority. And um, this just doesn't work for me. You know how they used to have half sizes, and then it's more like, say, uh, sizes. Shoot, I don't know how they all go. Say, women's clothing, twelve to fourteen, then it's sixteen to eighteen. You know, along this line. And you would think everybody would fit within that. Not true. <laughs> it's not true. Not for me, for certain. I have very long le I have long legs, and um, such as they have clothing for tall women, you know, pants for tall women. And uh, for me, I can wear the pants for tall women, but the very back part of the leg will touch the ground, and it messes with it. You know, when I walk, it'll... Uh, yeah, there, it might, might get mud or whatever on it and it wears it out after a short while and uh, the next one up you know no too short people say well are you expecting high waters that's people's favorite thing it seems like <laughs> it's too many people not all remember none of this is all one size fits all and that one quite literally okay. I'm going to say I'm not a doctor not a healthcare professional none of that a medical healthcare professional no but for me so I'm going to say, point that out for me. Um, medis medications and such that work for other people don't necessarily work for me. In fact, I could have severe allergies against them. So these, these are things that don't work. I'm not sure if that is just because of, of my disability or what. And um, disability, my difference or what. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, I mentioned that because of this. Now, people who, let's just call them narcissists, okay? Now, I don't, I'm not diagnosing anybody, but let's just use that. You know, the narcissistic abuse. Okay, thoughts. Um, they get ticked off if you point out something that is different about you, or if it's an issue for you. They could point it out, they could harass you for it, they could, because of it, they could, well, not harass, but they could be abusive toward you because of it and some of it could actually be when you have a big difference about you um, in a way they get jealous because they want to be somebody who stands out you see but some of it can be just because of like what happened to me when I was first informed of my um, what it was the cause for my situation is an adrenal uh, problem and I was first informed of it in the year 2000. I went in the hospital with pancreatitis and they did um, a CT, yeah, CT, and they found this on my adrenal gland, adrenal myelolipoma. I didn't know back then because the, the doctor they sent me to, to talk about it, she was a, I'm not gonna say that I know for certain this was her problem, but she was very angry with me. She was a large woman, okay. And uh, she was very angry. Angry. It was the first time I've even heard of anything like this. Except for when I was in junior high. There was a 
my teacher in my uh, social studies class mentioned it to the class um, when I thought it was very odd. Why would she mention it? Years later, I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, it's because of me. Yeah, she was kind of giving me a heads up. She wasn't a mean person. So anyway, um, so this doctor, yeah, I don't remember what, uh, she may have probably was an endocrinologist. They sent me to the hospital, referred me to. And um, she was angry. And she says, well, most women just want to have this. I don't know why anybody would want to have this because of the lifetime of problems, issues I have suffered from because of it. Yeah, but I could, t you know, that's why when I was much younger, near 2000, that I summed it up as because she was a big woman and she wanted something to excuse her behavior because she was a big woman. That was when not much was known about this, from what I understand, my situation, and uh, that not everybody can eat the same and all that. It wasn't as well known. Okay, so I can't say what was on her mind, but I am a social and behavioral scientist. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not a healthcare professional. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, wasn't her counselor, so I don't know. There was something there for her to have so much anger, and I think she finally realized by the look on my face, I was just quite shocked. She was so angry toward, you know, showing so much anger toward me. And then she calmed down and she got professional again. And then she started explaining it to me. Not enough. Yeah, not enough. Anyway, and all doctors since then have um, denied it. Okay, that's another thing. Uh, like your, di your differences or even your, di you know, actual physical or mental um, disabilities or... Yeah, challenges, differences. Okay, um, they they don't just don't want to believe it. Seriously, don't want to believe it. I've done videos about uh, people who are, have narcissistic behaviors or histrionic behaviors, and um, they believe they know better than the the actual professionals a person goes to, the medical professionals. They know better. Even if it's a, you know, I mean, medical or mental professionals, they know better. Some of it just seems like, again, in some instances, it could be none of this one's that's what it's all, but some of it could be that they don't want you, again, like I just said, to have anything special about you. It's only supposed to be them being special, but them being special in a good way. When you have this, you know, this, this kind of problem like me, it's not in a good way. Okay, now something more about doesn't work the same for you as it does for the majority is, you know, I'm saying you and I'm just, just making it brief, <laughs> put it that way, I'm not saying you, you, but anyway, um, you have to learn more than other people, than others, because of these differences and such, you know, like you can't, I'm really me, I can't just watch TV and say, okay, well, I'm a social and behavioral scientist, I, my master's is in sociology, okay. My degrees are in psychology and sociology. And I can't just take what I've learned, what I've seen, what I've uh, seen in others, known in other, about others, known from watching TV, any of that. I cannot take it for granted that it's going to be the same for me at all. And I had to learn more because I had to learn what it what, what works for me. I have, I have to know what works for them because I hear it, you know, so I do know it. And then what works for me because it's so unusual in my case is my situation my health condition is rare okay rare anyway so i had to learn more about a lot of things and i had to learn more about me than than just studying either one of these i had to learn more about how i can you know, react to things or whatever i had to learn more okay and to move on you you get judged more often <laughs> That says it all, doesn't it? Get judged more often than those, the majority, okay? Uh, now, again, one size doesn't fit all, and I don't have any statistics on that. Um, it's more difficult to get a job. These are personal experience. I'm not going to say that I'm, um, if I know of any research on them, I'll, I'll point it out. Um, but my experience is, it's more difficult to get a job. And I've actually had a friend many years ago, when I was 25, boy, it was a long time ago, and she told me that uh, her boss said he would never hire anybody like me. Wow, she was a high school friend. And she just told me flat out, I don't want to hurt you, but this is what the situation is. 
you know, I was 25. I was learning, just learning about stuff. Didn't even know back then that I had this. And um, doctors after doctors, I've seen so many doctors in my life, <laughs> healthcare professionals all around. It's unbelievable. And nobody said anything <laughs> until that one in 2000. And then after that, doc again in 2004, because they did another CT. But all the years, other years, other times between then until last year, they all deny it. They can't even have proof they're going to deny it. Say something else. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, I'm laughing, but out of frustration kind of laughter. Huh, but just the audacity, just the nerve of how arrogant they must have been. To that they even know better than the actual results, the images. Whew. Wow. Anyway, so I said that about you have to learn more. You get to um, judge more. It's more difficult to get a job, and it is, okay? Um, there will, has been for me. Um, and I've mentioned this about, you know, some people will doubt that it even exists. You're, you know, if it's not something, even if it's something they can visibly see. I'm a very tall woman, not very, but I'm taller. I've always been female. Somebody said something about that one time. So I'm pointing it out, but I always have been female. And I have known since I was in kindergarten that there was some difference, me and another girl in kindergarten, uh, that there was something different about our height, and it is. I'm taller than your average male. Okay, from Texas. But anyway, my dad was six foot seven, but my mom said he was a pituitary giant. I always thought that was a joke, but you have to be a pituitary giant, you have to be at least seven feet, I believe, and he would only admit to six foot seven. Big, strong, strong body, scary guy. Anyway, um, move on some people doubt it even if they see it they doubt it <laughs> they doubt it that it's going to cause you any problem too so um you're much more often scrutinized like if you're on a job and uh, you you do your work you do it better than other people other people will, you see them as slackers and you're doing your job but you're going to be scrutinized more and not just on the job okay when you might actually have more insight, more intelligence, more and or you have more, but you're going to be scrutinized more. Okay, could be, possibly. Uh, and for some, it could be subconscious or conscious that they may feel that you have to work harder to prove yourself worthy. You know, and that can be on a job or it could be in anything. You have to work harder. You have to impress more because of the way others, you know, some others um, would judge you. Again, this is all some people. Not all people do it. And uh, and it could possibly be, like if you're on a job or whatever, you are told to do more. Like as if you have some kind of, you know, this is slowing you down when it's not. You're ahead of everybody. But you're still told to do more than the, you find out others. You're told to do more than they do. Yeah. So there's all these kind of inequalities. You know, and I have many more, like I said, at least five videos total. I have more that I haven't written out yet. There's six more. And I haven't written my highlights to. And some just expand on this kind of thing. So, but yeah, and some people won't even believe that. They won't even believe that you're judged more. They won't even believe that it's tougher to get a job. They won't even believe, you know, that you, you even feel that way that you have to work harder or that you know you work harder. Or they might not even believe your level of intelligence. I remember one a POS is what I call him, judged me because I do have a genius IQ and he doesn't, didn't want to believe it. He wanted to put down people with genius IQs, really. Yeah, maybe it made him feel inferior or something. Anyway, um, but no, other people don't. They, they say, you must be proud. Or, you know, like I have had a, it was actually a, a series of two days of different types of uh, tests. Um, one was an IQ, regular IQ test, but the other ones were also judging my intelligence. And I wasn't the only person, okay? But it was two days. And I have panic disorder. I was diagnosed with panic disorder a very long time ago, but um, the medication for di type 2 diabetes helped me. 
um, to have to reduce it pretty much. But anyway, taking a test in a quiet room with a bunch of other people, you know, it's not going to be the best results. And, and then it's been tested before. They know it. They knew it, too. But I still have Genius IQ. So. Now, some people, they're not going to believe that you, you know, you have more insight or you have more um, intelligence. Like I said, let's just use those two. Because of their, their prejudices. They, because of you are not like the majority. Okay. They believe that, therefore, you don't have as much intelligence. You know, you don't have that kind of insight. But some of the other behaviors they do, which I have other videos to make on, five other videos to make on it, just kind of tells the opposite, the same breath. You know, the hypocrisy, the... Um, yesterday I was thinking a lot about um, seeing, viewing... Um, oh, what's it called? Oh... Uh, it's hypocrisy, but um, yeah, the word just flew out of the term. It wasn't a word, a term flew out right out of my brain. But uh, cognitive dissonance, hypocrisy, it's a, that's a form of cognitive dissonance. And uh, there's some things that they, to many people, you know, that they do more of wanting to, to tell how everybody how you have to do it, you know. Do as I say, not as I do types, and so on and so forth. And they won't even admit that they're doing it because it's just too much of a, you know, they, they just don't want to believe they're, they're not perfect. Put it that way, make it short. But I was thinking about that. And that, that can come into this too, you know, different ways, not just by the hypocrisy. But anyway, I think that's enough for this video. I'll talk to you on another video.